Hi and welcome. Today we're going to focus a little bit on the TS2 light from Thrunite, but not specifically for the actual light itself, but for the battery that it utilizes. This has a 21700 lithium ion battery. If you haven't seen this uh, light before, this is an emergency style light where you have a case here. All right, it uses a magnet to hold that inside the case. And then the light module itself is plugged into the battery charging port. Okay, so you just pull that off and that removes the actual light head. But now we're left with just this battery. Of course, you can use this battery as a little power bank and you can charge other devices. But what's also cool is you can use this in other flashlights. Now, what I decided to do was test this battery in the about a dozen or so different flashlights that I currently have that utilize a 21700. They did not fit all the lights. This battery size is a little bit different. I'll go ahead and measure that for you real quick here. All right, so there was one case, I believe it was on... I want to say a stream light where it didn't actually fit inside the tube, even though it was the same style battery. And in most other cases, the battery would fit in there, but it just wouldn't work. So taking a quick measurement here from top to bottom, it is almost exactly three inches long, which is just a hair longer than some of the other 21700s that I have in other flashlight models. However, going through all the ones that I currently possess, these four different lights, it works totally fine in. Okay, so you can use these batteries and they're cheaper to get them from through night than to buy replacement batteries directly from the manufacturers. All right, there is actually one through night in this list. It is the through night T2. So the TS2 works in this flashlight. It also works in this Phoenix PD36R, also the Phoenix um, E35, as well as this Nightcore uh, HC35. Okay, so I wanted to just point that out that if you are buying replacement batteries, you could use your TS2 battery in these, or if you just wanted a battery itself that also works as a power bank, you could buy this as a spare battery. So let's say you happen to carry the Thrunite T2, or you know any of these here. Um, maybe it's in your EDC rotation or in a bag in your vehicle or something. You could purchase extra TS2 uh, whole modules here, all right, because it's cheaper than buying replacement batteries. But you can also use those as backup emergency power for maybe your cell phone or some kind of electric device in an emergency. So I took the batteries out of each one of these flashlights just to show this, all right, as an example. So here is the TS2, all right. First, we're gonna compare it to this Nightcore. Let's see if I put the bottoms completely together, you can see how the TS2 battery is just a hair longer. However, I'm gonna put it inside the light, pop on the tail cap, make sure it's nice and snug. You can see that it does work totally fine in this particular setup. All right, now we're gonna try it with the Phoenix E35 here. All right, again, compare these batteries. Looks like the TS2 battery is just ever so slightly longer. All right, just by a hair. But popping it into this Phoenix here, tightening it down. All right, see it does obviously turn it on just fine. All right, next up is the Thrunite T2. All right, line these up again on the left, just ever so slightly longer, just by a hair, but does work totally fine in this uh, T2 here. Just doing this as a demonstration, just to show that the batteries are interchangeable on all these lights. And of course, last we have the Phoenix PD36R and again, just a touch bigger all right, than the actual battery that comes to the light. Let's go ahead and put this in there. All right, and there you go. Works fine. So again, this is just to uh, show that these um, TS2 batteries do work in multiple lights. What is kind of a nice uh, bonus here by having the TS2 batteries, of course, is the power indicator. Like for example, on this uh, Phoenix here, there is a power indicator, okay, which is inside the button there. This one obviously needs to be charged as you sh saw that that was red, but it's nice to be able to also check on the battery itself by pushing the button here. All right, let me zoom in and give you a better shot of this. All right, so if you depress the button on the side, I use my nail there, just a tip, just happen to cut my nails. <laughs> so there we go. Once you press the button, it will show you how much power uh, is left in this battery, which is happens to be 100%. So that's just kind of like another bonus in um, in having these batteries, especially as backups and especially 
in an emergency. And that's the whole point of this uh, TS2 system is to have a good emergency setup. All right, so even if you have one of these fantastic flashlights, let's say again, you have it in a vehicle or EDC or something, it's just nice to have the TS2 um, whole system, you know, in a vehicle as a backup. So if your battery happens to die, you could swap it out uh, or you can use this to, uh, to charge stuff. So I just wanted to pass on that little bit of information just in case you didn't know it. I thought it was fascinating in testing this in all different types of flashlights. So that's pretty much it for this one. If you guys are not aware, Thrunite is always doing giveaways. So just go ahead and click the link down in the description box to get in on the giveaway. Another way you can participate in the giveaways is to subscribe, like, and share these videos. Thanks for watching.